A gigantic walking robot the size of a vehicle has been constructed by the Japanese. It is 3.4 meters long and can comfortably hold four passengers. Though the robot is 1.9 meters tall, it is still a long way from the Star Wars at Walker. We might see similar robots in amusement parks. The company that built it specializes in amusement rides, so that's not a coincidence. The robot named this R2 moves slowly but can squat turn around in one spot and bring joy to both the audience and its passengers. The robot can be controlled remotely. This is a practical but strange looking Japanese device that looks like a Darth Vader mask or a muzzle. Tests show that it reduces noise levels by 20 to 30 decibels. So if you wear it, the person sitting next to you won't be able to hear you talk. It connects via Bluetooth to a variety of devices, including computers and smartphones. Eight hours of communication may be had on a single charge. And there is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You can use your hand to hold the device to your mouth for brief chats, or you can use the straps to hold it in place during longer ones. The device costs $156 and buyers from the US will be able to order it later this year. The final option for today is the Miller Safe Escape, which is a compact and incredibly useful solution. It is perfect for high-rise installers because it comes in handy when descending from a considerable height. It can support up to 250 kilograms and comes with a 50 meters rope. It can move at a respectable speed of 1 meter per second and works in a temperature range of 50 to minus 50 degrees Celsius. It turns out that a strong base can be used to put out flames, so it's not just for parties and loud cars. Although the concept isn't new, US students at George Mason University have developed a sound-based fire extinguisher that effectively puts out burning alcohol in tests. The most successful method involves using sound frequencies between 30 and 60 hertz. The project only cost the students $600. The idea is to mount these fire extinguishers on drones. Not content to just sell smartphones. Motorola also unveiled an interesting prototype of a flexible smartphone at Lenovo Tech World 2023. This could be a great deal, as you could buy a smartphone and get a smartwatch for the same price, and you could watch videos while eating lunch instead of needing a stand for your phone. The diagonal of the screen measures 6.9 inches when bent, reducing to 4, 6 inches. It is unclear if this smartphone will be mass-produced, but Motorola displayed a design similar to this one back in 2016, suggesting that someone inside the company likes the idea. A small 75x75x2mm 75 75 quartz plate can hold up to 75.6 GB of data. They use a laser to create tiny three-dimensional patterns and record data to retrieve it. Microsoft developed the project Silica, a technology that stores data in quartz glob class wafers. While it may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, it's a real and functional invention. They developed a system based on artificial intelligence algorithms. These plates can withstand scratches, magnetic fields, and even boiling. The data stored on them can last for approximately 10,000 years. It is suggested by Microsoft to use these plates in cloud servers. Meanwhile, for $17, the American business Matador sells this small stuff sack that you can clip onto your keychain. Before dipping in, you can keep your smartphone, wallet, and other goods that should stay dry in the stuff sack. After a swim, it's perfect for holding a swimsuit, swim trunks, and other moist items. It's made for people who frequently visit the beach or pool. The stuff sack weighs only 23 grams and has a capacity of two half liters. It has a silicon body for the case and is composed of nylon. A stainless steel ring is included. This is a BMW concept car, and rumors have it that we'll see something akin to it on the market in 2025. It gives us an indication of the general direction the company is taking, and the following concept, which will be unveiled a little later, will be as near to the production model as feasible. 
The vehicle, which resembles a cross between a Hot Wheels car and a Tesla Cybertruck, represents BMW's vision for digital mobility going forward. The specifications have not yet been released, but they do discuss the smart features extensively. Augmented reality choices, a full-width windscreen projection display, a, a touchpad-equipped steering wheel, and a self-learning digital assistant. Experimentally papered technology will allow the owner to change the color of the car by adjusting as many as 240 separate segments. Besides the promotional video stars the first Terminator of all times. They even used the joke about emotions, so did you smile looking at this masterpiece of German engineering? An additional road project this time. The Swedish government has set aside around $8 million for the test phase of electric vehicle charging. This amount may not seem substantial, given that the EU intends to cease manufacturing internal combustion engine automobiles by 2035, thus, governments around the world are already trying to encourage more people to purchase electric vehicles. The adaptability of this charging road makes it intriguing since it can accommodate nearly all types of vehicles, including trucks, buses, and passenger automobiles. It operates by simply placing these receivers on the automobiles and specific rails on the road. The internet-connected technology manages payments online, while also keeping an eye on the condition of the road data, records traffic accidents, and provides other useful information. Here's a somewhat easier but still helpful product that costs $129. This pull heating system can easily install many heaters at once for optimal efficiency. It fits pools up to 354 cubic feet and raises the temperature by 9 to 27 degrees Fahrenheit depending on the weather. The heaters see these suns must be raised for a minimum of 6 hours every day and positioned at the ideal angle. This is where the construction challenges end. Hoses and connections are provided and the total weight of the structure is around 18 pounds. Analysts predict that by 2026, natural gas demand in Europe would rise by over 60%, necessitating the need for more resources, which is why engineers propose surprise options. How about utilizing fast-moving highways as energy sources? Since many European countries have expensive land and densely populated areas, the aim of this Austrian-German team is to simply put a type of roof with solar cells above the road. This makes installing batteries above the road a cost-effective and practical alternative, aside from providing precipitation protection, which will extend the life of the roadbed. Germany alone will be able to obtain over 47 terawatt-hours of electricity from the solar roof. When moving, many people want to take their entire house with them. Fortunately, New Zealand company Tid Ross Todd or Turt has trailers made specifically for that purpose. One of these trailers can reach an amazing 23 meters in length and weigh an amazing 58 tons. It also features double axle steering and a torsional box system that boosts strength by 40%. The trailer can also be raised to a height of about 2.8 meters and lowered to the ground. Thanks to the hydraulic jacks on each wheel, the operator can operate the trailer with a remote control. 